Hey guys, thanks for tuning into another episode of Nav's Garage. Now as you'll probably tell by the prop I've got here beside me, this is another instalment of our Auto Flight Quad Cam EA82 project. Right, but before we get into it, have you all subscribed yet? If you haven't, now's a great opportunity. Hit that button, toggle on that bell, You'll get notifications of our next video when it comes out. It's just a good recipe for enjoyment. Don't get carried away with the next episode now though, because this one's going to be a cracker. Last time on our quad cam EA82 project, we mocked up the cam belt routing, which come out pretty darn good. But what we need to do now is get our oil pump drive pulley sorted out, because these Awesome quad cam heads ain't going to do much of a good job unless we can get this sweet old slippery stuff up into them. So, let's not muck around anymore. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so let's just drop the belt off. Just sit it down there for a minute and we'll pop our pulley off. Okay. Now make sure our crank pulley is all the way on. Okay, so what we're going to do is put a straight edge down the crank pulley like this. And measure into the landing where the oil pump pulley sits. So we've got 13.5 millimeters. So now we're going to draw our pulley. So 13.5 from the front of the pulley into where it sits on the oil pump, the landing here, or the hub datum, I guess we could call it. Now we've got a hub depth there of, let's just make it 10 mil so it's nice and strong. Like that. And we've got a belt width of 30. So let's make this. Thirty-two. There's a hole through the middle. Now we're just going to change this to uh, fourteen point five. Because we've got the extra two mils, so we'll have a, a mil overhang on the front and a mil overhang on the back, in theory. All right, cool. Now we need the shaft and the housing measurements. All right. So we've got a shaft diameter of 11. Going to measure the flat side on there. That's uh, basically our shaft keyway. Right, so it's 10.5. Okay, it's 10.5. Now the body of the oil pump. So it's 
Okie dokie. So I am in no ways a SolidWorks whiz. I mean, I can get by, um, but drawing up a pulley is pretty complicated. So I found this program called GearTracks Pro, um, and it basically does all the hard work for us. So you can draw uh, transmission gears, diff gears, you can draw tooth sprockets. Um, we'll come back to this one. You can draw V-belt pulleys, sets of worms, splines, even elliptical gears. But this is the one the money's on today, uh, gear belts. So uh, we just input the data. So we pick our belt, which is a HTD8. And we're going to be designing it in metric. Okay, so she's a 30 mil belt width. And we're going to try and get away with 19 teeth. Okay, so you'll see here how it works out our diameter and our pitch and everything all automatically, which is really cool. Now we can even go in and uh, define the centers. Okay, so I want a bore of 3 mil. So I can adjust it later. Um, now here's our hub diameters, so we've got to work. We've got to work them out off our drawing. Uh, what you'll notice is that by default it makes a 30 mil pulley with no flange, 38 mil wide. We don't want it 38 mil wide. We only want it 32 mil wide, as per what we drew up. Okay, so. We can fix that later in SOLIDWORKS. We just need to do a little math in this software. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do our offset measurement. So we'll measure 14.5mm uh, from the hub. Okay, okay so first hub diameter. going to make it um, 25 so it's nice and strong now remember it's 10 mil thick in here so we're going to do an extrude cut of 4.5 so it's negative 4.5 Now, second hub diameter is where we need to do a little bit of calculation because uh, we want to leave 10 mils, but it's built on 32 mil pulley. This is calculating a 38. So we need uh, 32. Take away 14.5. You all can probably do this kind of math in your head, I can't. Just 17.5 plus add on an extra 6. So we're going to do an extra cut of 23.5. And we're going to try and get away with 39. Okay. We just leave all these keyways and so forth because we uh, haven't got them happening. All right, so here's a picture of what we're looking at. There it goes, spinny, spinny. Okay, okay, now we um, push it across to SOLIDWORKS. So this is no hands, people, and I haven't sped this up.
All right, so here's our part. Cool, huh? So what we're going to do is we're going to crop the side with the extra overhang a little bit, which is what we call an extrude cut. So we pick this plane and we're just going to draw a circle like this. And we're going to do a extrude cut of six mils. Bang. Like that. Cool. We uh, check it out, boom. Got a width of 32, fifth, okay. So now we can just uh, do a couple of adjustments. I'm gonna do a center hole now. Okay, so we want it 11 mil diameter. Okay, so we want a 5.5 radius, bang. Now we want to draw in a flat side. So I'm going to do another one. And it's going to be 4.5 radius, like that. Okay. Now we're going to draw a flat line at 180 degrees to intersect this circle and then back and zero degrees for this circle. Like that. Then we're going to power trim off this. Boom. And this one. Boom. And that gives us our shape for our hole. Okay. We do now select the circle and the flat top. Boom. And we're going to cut extrude. Ten point zero zero millimeters. Bang. And there's our center hole. Cool, that was easy. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just a couple of finishing touches. Let's just Put a chamfer on this edge here. Let's go 0.5 millimeters. Bang, like that. Let's have a look at our backside here. I'm going to put one here, uh, just to give it strength. So it's basically, you know, just going to put a nice chamfer on this one here as a bit of a brace. So we're going to make this one a uh, 1.5 mil chamfer. 
bang, like that. Okay, so there we go. Now, have we covered all our bases? We've got our 19 tooth wheel, we've got our D shaped center. It's 32 mil wide, and the offset should be correct. Cool. All right, now I want to send it out for printing before I get it CNC'd, so let's save it as an STL. Fine resolution in binary. Proto. Bang. Cool. All right, guys, Let's see how it comes back. All right, guys, well, there's our oil pump pulley on a USB drive. Don't know how it fits on there, but I'm not a physicist. Uh, anywho, let's um, send that off to get it prototype printed now. <laughs> right, cool. Um, so that's about it for another episode of the Auto Flight Quad Cam EA82 project. It's a mouthful, but it's a ripper. Um, so like always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And also make sure you jump on our Instagram at Gossen Media. That's our handle. Follow along there for behind the scenes shots and gossip. That's it from me, I'm Nev, this is my garage, and I'll see you next instalment. Just going to pop this back on here now.